So in today's video, we are going to check out Tencent's new 3D model generator. So we are going to check out Hunyon 3D. So in this video, we are going to cover text to 3D, image to 3D. We are also going to cover how you can use multiple images to make a 3D character. And as a bonus, we are going to make an environment in Unreal Engine 5 using our generated 3D assets. So again, before I start this video, I would like to thank all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If you want to support the channel, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. Now let's get started with this. Okay, so let's go to the website. You'll have to log in here. So you can use your email to do that. After logging in, you're going to see this page. So we are going to click on application experience. So this is the studio interface. This is where all the creation happens. And here you can see all the 3D models that the users have created. So let me show you how this works. Here we have two different ways of generating 3D models. You can either use a text to 3D or you can use an image to 3D. So we are first going to use a text to 3D. So that's the Vincent 3D model. So after that, you have the PBR option. You can choose to generate PBR textures. And here you also have some style options. So for this example, I'm going to use the default uh, settings. So it's going to generate four different variations. So this will take some time. You can go to your assets to see all your generations. And here you can see our generation has been completed. So let's click on one of them. And this looks really good. And once your model has been generated, you can download this from here. Okay, so that was text to 3D. Now let's take a look at image to 3D. So for the image to 3D, we are going to use the Tushing 3D workflow. And here you can upload a single image or multiple images. So we are going to check out the multiple images later on. First, let's upload the single image. So I'm going to upload an image of a Romanesque bust and I'm also going to keep PBR maps check and let's see how this goes. So let's generate this. So this looks really good. The AI has gone ahead and like generated the backside of the 3D model. It has those micro details as well. I've tested a lot of AI services and this is by far the best one. So I've gone ahead and I've generated a couple of assets that we are going to use in our Unreal Engine 5 environment. So I've generated this barrel. I've generated a dagger. And I've generated a Viking shield. Now here I'm going to switch to Unreal Engine. And let's quickly make a environment. So we're going to go to environment light mixer and we're going to add all of these lights. This will give you a typical open world setup. After that, I'm going to add a ground plane. After that, I'm going to add a post process volume. In the post process volume, I'm going to enable infinite extends. And we are going to lock our exposure to a constant value. After that, we are going to assign a ground material from mega scans. The floor looks really good. And at this point, I'm going to start placing my assets. And these assets have all PBR maps. So I'm going to add the barrels here. After that, I'm going to place this shield like this. I'm going to place the dagger as well. This is looking good. Now let's create a cinematic. So we're going to go ahead and add a cinematic camera actor. Let's change the camera settings here. We are going to start by changing the camera sensor. We are also going to change the lens to a 50 millimeter lens. 
And if you go to the focus settings, you can assign a focus object. So I'm going to assign the barrel object. And lastly, we are going to crop the sensor. Now let's finish up our scene by adding some foliage assets from mega scans. So this is just a basic grass asset and you can go to the foliage panel and paint them using the foliage brush. After that, you could also add some micro detail. So I'm going to add some pebbles and some rocks. Now here you could also switch to the wireframe mode to view your rocks properly. So let's go back to the lit view. You can see this looks really good. So it just took us less than five minutes to put the scene together. Now let's make an animation. So I'm going to add a level sequence. That's going to open up the sequencer. And here we are going to add the camera in the sequencer. And after that, it's just a matter of adding our keyframes. So we are going to add a transform keyframe on frame one. Go to the end of your timeline. Now here I want the camera to move forward and rotate upwards. So I'm going to do that and add a keyframe. Now let's play the animation. Looks really good. So let's go to workflows and here you have different workflows. So we have the Vincent game props workflow. So this is like text to game prop. We have the image to game prop. But here we are interested in the multi view character workflow. You can click on this. So this is like a huge node graph. And if you zoom in to the first node here, you can assign different images. And all you will need for this is four different images of your character. So we need a front view. We need a back view. We need a left and a right. So you can upload all your images in the first node. After that, you can press the run button. So the run button will process each node. You can see I've already processed all the nodes here. So after you upload all your images, this is basically going to do the image segmentation. After the segmentation is done, it's going to generate the 3D model. And if you go to the next node, you can see that this is doing the job of making the texture. So we have the textured model here. After that, we have some additional nodes that basically rig your 3D character and you can see the animated rigged character here. Now I've downloaded this in Blender. You can see the character looks really good. So that was the multi image 3D character workflow. So again, I just covered the surface. Do check this out. I'll leave all the links down in the description. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.